There is still no sign of missing New York teen Brittany Drexel today. Yesterday, the main group of searchers moved farther south, crossing from lower Georgetown County into northern Charleston County near McClellanville. No specific reason was given for the move below the South Santee, although searchers have been in that general area for more than a week now. That's because that's where signals were picked up from Brittany's cell phone not long after she was reported missing. Well, Brittany's friends, family, and family members came together last night to hold a vigil in her honor. It took place on South Ocean Boulevard behind Blue Water Resort. That's where Brittany was last seen. Drexel's family wore and handed out T-shirts printed with the teen's picture. Members of St. Andrew's Catholic Church were also present, and they offered a prayer service. But today marks two weeks since the teen went missing. Search crews were out again today, this time scouring other areas of Charleston County. News 13's Aisha Khan was there and spoke with Brittany's mom, who says even though the search has become exhausting, she's still not ready to give up hope. 14 days and countless hours of searching, passing out missing teen flyers, and still no word on where 17-year-old Brittany Drexel may be. Today we're going to call the search at 7 p.m. and hopefully we'll have some discovery prior to then. But um, it doesn't mean this, the search for her will not continue. Crews say they've exhausted several search methods from riding on horses through narrow dirt trails in Georgetown County to using helicopters and canine units all the way into Charleston County at Thornhill Farm. All efforts, Brittany's mother says she hopes will lead to finding her daughter. You have to think of the worst case scenario, which we don't want to think about, but, you know, it, it's reality. I'm just hoping that... You know, she comes home soon. I, you know, I, I don't want to wait. The wait may be an agonizing feeling for the Drexel family, but search crews say time for them is also ticking. You have to look at every search as a success. Um, you know, as you're eliminating more space that she's not, so you're not questioning as far as where she could be. And that's all you can do. And hanging on to news of positive information on her daughter's whereabouts is the only option that Don Drexel has left. Everybody is just so upset because we know this isn't like Brittany. She wouldn't hurt her family like that. In Charleston County, Aisha Khan, News 13. Well, since search crews called off their efforts after 7 tonight, investigators will now be the ones continuing to look for Brittany. If you have any information on where she may be, please call the Myrtle Beach Police Department.